Trots here to educate, elucidate, and inspire. So, some fun news today. Vladimir Putin's second daughter is going to help Russia evade the worst of the Western sanctions on it and help in the war effort against Ukraine. How? I shall explain. Her name is Katerina Tikhonova Putina and she has been elevated to become co-chair of a powerful business union within Russia aimed at offsetting the worst of the sanctions imposed on Russia by the West in a bid to help Russian businesses and help Russian e e economy. So as we know, on the 24th of February 2022, Vladimir Putin and the Russian Federation launched a special military operations in Ukraine, slash an invasion, and thereby in triggered off a raft of sanctions by the West, which, it has to be said, were the most punitive and punishing in history. There on in, Russian businesses, the ruble itself took a big hit, and although today it has uh, risen to be the strongest it's ever been, one cannot doubt the fact that Russian businesses have been hit hard by Western sanctions. And Vladimir Putin has uh, roped in his second daughter to help. She will become the co-chairman of a quite high-powered Kremlin loyal business lobbying group aimed at supervising import substitutions. Her appointment is with the Russian Union of Industrialists and Entrepreneurs, the RSPP, as reported by the state-run news outlet RBC. Uh, several Russian companies, as hitherto mentioned, have been badly hit owing to the very punitive, punishing Western sanctions in response to the invasion of Ukraine. Nevertheless, Russia were somewhat prepared for this because Joe Biden had to open his big mouth and pre-warned them in 2021 that the United States will sanction Russia. And at the same time, quite unbeknownst to many, Russia had been sanctioned by the West since 2014. And although those sanctions have been getting progressively tighter and harsher, Russia knew that this day would come. So they have been somewhat prepared for at least the worst aspects of the sanctions. And Putin has asked uh, his daughter, as well as several Russian officials and Russian economists, to r ramp up sanction-busting import substitution programs. In the months following the invasion of Ukraine, Russian imports actually fell to their lowest since early 2000s. So Katerina Tikhanova Putina will co-chair this Coordinating Council on Import Substitution and Technological Independence. And her job is to help Russia's attempts to reduce its dependency on foreign made goods. I presume she's just going to help draft legislation, um, come up with proposals, create digital services, and highlight the best practices for Russian businesses. And from that, help them grow and eventually wean them off their dependence on Western goods. She's also going to help speedily reduce Russia's reliance on Western products and with her expertise, try to mitigate, as hitherto mentioned, the worst of the Western sanctions. If you didn't know, Katerina Tikhonova Putina is the Director General of the Loki National Intellectual Development Foundation. She works low-key because they don't like to let her identity out the back. Um, she was born in Dresden. Do you remember that? When uh, Churchill bombed Dresden to smithereens. On the 31st of August 1986, making her, as of today, 35 years old. Um, she has an older sister. Uh, more on her later. And Katerina Putina is 
known as a Russian scientist, um, a manager. She was also a former acrobatic dancer. A former acrobatic dancer. And some of her videos uh, are actually still online. As I said, she's the youngest of Putin's two daughters, who Putin had with his former first lady, Lyudmila Alexandronova Orochiana Putina. Now divorced, but nevertheless uh, still close together. And being born in Dresden in 1980, 1986, obviously means she was conceived whilst Putin was a KJB officer in East Germany. Reports allege that she's been the deputy director of the Institute for Mathematical Research of Complex Systems at Moscow State University. And at the same time, she is known to have had somewhat of a relationship with a um, man called Igor Zelensky. Yes, his surname is Zelensky. You couldn't make this up, could you? Who, until recently, Zelensky I'm talking about, headed the Bavarian State Ballet. In fact, Katerina Tikhonova Putina was making frequent trips to Munich to go see Zelensky. You mean, get her back blown out? <laughs> um, she actually used to be married to Russia's youngest billionaire at the time, Kirill Shamalov, 40 years old, who, if you didn't know, now you do, was close to Vladimir Putin. Before her identity as Putin's daughter was revealed, as I said, she was an internationally well-known rock and roll dancer. And then her identity got revealed and that, that kind of somewhat trickled away. Her older sister, Maria Borotsova Putina, is a leading researcher at the National Medical Research Center for Endocrinology. And her half-sister, her name is Svetlana Krivonyonich, is now a part owner of a major Russian bank and is actually one of Russia's wealthiest women. So when I say Putin is a billionaire, don't be surprised. Putin is actually loaded with money. It was it kept a secret, but as you know, US uh, the intelligence is very good and US intelligence, it was who uh, clocked that Katerina Tikhanova Putina and Maria Vorotsova Putina were daughters of Putin himself. And from that, Putin's uh, quite tight-lipped approach to talking about his family, he doesn't do it often, was busted. It's now well known that these two are his daughters. And unlike, unlike her elder sister, Katerina Putina has a big interest in politics. And there are questions as to whether or not she will eventually jump into the murky world of politics because she has been tipped for a major political role in the future, especially once Putin himself leaves this mortal world. So, you might get another Putin. <laughs> Watch this space, Royal is France. Katerina Tikhonova Putina. Welcome to Russian politics. Not. <laughs> Royal is France. We can all laugh about this. By the way, Mario Draghi, the Premier of Italy, has just resigned. Whew. And everyone bites the dust. 